What is up, everybody? This is Prof G. Rob of the Imperial Insurgents, and you are either someone who needs to get TeamSpeak 3 so that you can participate in group events, or you're someone who's got TeamSpeak 3, and every time you try to connect to the Surge TeamSpeak 3, you get a blacklist error. I'm going to help you with both of these problems, but first I'm going to address the blacklist error. So people who are trying to get TeamSpeak 3, just sit tight for less than a minute. I'll be quick. If you've got TeamSpeak 3 and you're getting the blacklist error, the first thing you need to do is completely uninstall TeamSpeak 3. I'll walk you through that right now. The first thing you want to go do is go to your search bar and type in TeamSpeak. You should see something like this. Right click it and hit uninstall. You'll go to a menu like this. Search through this list of programs for something titled TeamSpeak 3. Once you've found the TeamSpeak 3 client, you might also find other things titled TeamSpeak 3. Right click all of these things and hit uninstall, one at a time. Once you've uninstalled all TeamSpeak 3 related things, you're ready to move on to the next step. Now this is the part where everyone should pay attention. The first thing you need to do is figure out what kind of computer you have. An OS X slash Mac, a Windows 32-bit, or a Windows 64-bit. Once you know which kind of computer you have, hit the corresponding link in the description below. Once you've hit that link, you'll start downloading something called this in your web browser. Just click it and wait for it to download. Once you've downloaded it, it'll ask for permission to make changes to your computer. Hit yes, and then you'll reach this screen. Hit next, agree to the terms of the license agreement, and then hit next again. Hit next, hit next, hit next one more time. Do not install Overwolf and hit install. Once you've reached this part, congratulations, that's part one of three complete. Hit run TeamSpeak 3 client and finish. TeamSpeak 3 client should start. Now, the most important thing I'm going to tell you in this entire video is to never update your TeamSpeak 3 client. Every time you open TeamSpeak 3, it has a chance of asking you to update your TeamSpeak 3 client. If you ever do that, you'll immediately start getting the blacklist error again, and you'll need to follow the steps in this video all over again. So, always hit not now when it asks you to update your TeamSpeak 3 client. Now, the next step in this video is connecting to the Surge TeamSpeak 3. I'll walk you through that right now. First thing you should do is go up here to Connections and hit Connect. Now, the first box that you need to fill in is the server address box. I will have the server address that you need in the description below. You can just copy and paste it in. The next thing to fill in is your nickname. Put your Roblox nickname. The final thing is the server password. There is no server password for Surge, so you can just hit connect. Congratulations, you've now joined the Surge TeamSpeak 3 server. The first thing you should do is go to your bookmarks and add this server to your bookmarks. Once you've done that, the next thing you should do is hit this eyeball icon. This allows you to see who is in all of these channels down here. The final thing that you'll need to do upon joining it for the first time is getting a, the attention of a high rank. A high rank is anyone with the rank of captain or above. Get them to assign you the permissions that you need so that you can go from one channel to another. Congratulations, you're now able to enter all the channels in the Surge TeamSpeak 3, at least the ones that are necessary to you. Now there's two more things that I need to tell you before I dismiss you. Thing number one is that there are two kinds of channels, off-duty and on-duty. In the off-duty chat rooms, Arconian Laws 1 and 15 are in effect at all times. In the on-duty chat rooms, all of the Arconian Laws are in effect, and there is an additional one. Everything that you say in the TeamSpeak 3 must be on topic. That means if you're in a raid, everything you say must be related to the raid. And that does not mean you can complain about lag or about someone being too good or too bad. Everything you say should only be said when you're supposed to say it. The final thing that I'd like to inform you of is that you should be on TeamSpeak 3 at all times when your computer is turned on. This doesn't mean that you need to be doing surge things at all times, but you should at least be in the TeamSpeak 3 server so that you can talk to other members of the group, and so that if the group ever needs you, we can talk to you. Now you know everything that you need to know. Welcome to Surge, and I hope you have a wonderful time. This is Prof G. Rob, and I'll see you next time.